good morning guys welcome to today today is so hot out i'm so excited and to today go swimming is all about Macer. Macer. No, today's all about releasing <laughs> romeo okay Macer. so we are still all in our pajamas it is 11 a.m it's 11 a.m and we're in our pajamas that is a sign of an awesome start to our day Anyway, uh, one thing we have not oh, been uh, telling you guys or keeping you posted about is our journey with Romeo. If you guys are new to our channel, then you might not know that we rescued Romeo as uh, about a five-day-old baby. Uh, his family was eaten by raccoons, but he was. we heard him screaming, and we rescued him, and now he's turned into a really domesticated bird. Right, Romeo? Don't look at this cage, you guys. It's dirty. I have to clean it every morning. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Anyway, he uh, loves us, we love him, uh, but we know that he can't be um, a pet bird. He's a wild bird. Anyway, we have been slowly releasing him every day. We let him out for a little Stop tiny bit so that he can uh, learn to acclimatize to our environment. It's called a soft release. Soft release, I think it is. We've done it with several other animals. It's a hard thing to do when you've had an animal be this domesticated, though. So we're taking it slow. Um, the biggest thing that we haven't shared with you guys is that off there's a little bird, probably a female, um, the same breed as him. He's a starling. And all the time we come back from the beach and she'll be attached to the cage. She legit will just be like hanging off the cage, talking to him and spending time with him. So we um, are hoping that they will be a match made in heaven and she will teach him everything he needs to know. Because right now, he right barks now, like a dog. He, right now, he doesn't even know how like how to speak bird yeah he only knows how to speak dog yeah he, he barks. barks like a dog okay so every morning when we come out we open his cage okay open it and then we let him uh, wander around he stays pretty close we keep an eye on him if we leave the house for anything we put him back in keep him safe whoa <laughs> And every day he goes straight to that bush. <laughs> That's his home. He pretty much hides out in that bush, hangs out there for as long as he's out. And then when we go anywhere, we put him away. So he's just learning. He's just learning and he's in there. Where are you, Romeo? And when it's time to put him away, sometimes he stays so still we can never find him. There he is. He's in there. Can you guys see him? Can see his butt. Romeo. 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 We are at the beach. The girls are already in the water, of course. Um, it took us forever to get all of our stuff down here. I got my hand dandy book I've been reading. My chair, my umbrella so I don't get burnt, my floaty, and our boat is over there. The girls are already in the water. Fighting. Apparently, fighting, possibly fighting. They say it's really warm though, so I'm going in. So I spent the whole day down at the beach at the girl with the girls, and then we went to the pool, and I shoved everything in my car. So now my van that I actually cleaned is full of sand, sand and goo. So yeah, there's a canoe in there still. So yeah. We are headed out to the barn. It's hard going from the beach to the pool to the barn. But that uh, actually doesn't sound like a bad life. But it is actually hard because your hair looks all sandy. you got sand everywhere. Your skin is all dried up from the sun. Gabby's got some swimming hair going on. Sophie's got some swimming hair going on. Everybody's screaming, I can't find my breeches. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're headed there because I have an agenda, you guys. I have off-roading style? What does that mean? Oh gosh, I hate when he springs these things on me. What? What does that mean? Taking a shortcut. Right, we're the canal. Did you do it before? No. Nope. Oh my gosh. First time ever. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyway, we are headed to the barn. I have an agenda um, because we have exactly eight days. Exactly eight days before we are camping with our horses, like already there camping with our horses. So um, we have to get everybody ready. And you guys might not know this, but somebody out of us is kind of nervous trail riding with our horses. But, oh, what is that? That's a cormorant. The heck is that? Cormorant. Don't scare it. Oh my gosh, it's a baby. It looks like a baby. But wait, wait, wait! It's looking for its mom. It has no food. 
Wait, wait, wait. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Look at him. What the heck is that? It's a, it's a, it's hurt. We need to save him. Oh my gosh, she's coming to us, you guys. No, Sam, we can't just leave him here. No, 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 stop. He's coming right to us. He is hurt. Sam. Oh my gosh. You guys, he's calling to us. You gotta get out there and get him. I think he's hurt, you guys. Hey, buddy. Aren't they rare? I don't know. An endangered species? Don't bite me. I got no pants on. Mm -hmm. Look at how cute he walks, though. Do you not know how to fly? Look at he's got duck fins. Fly, 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 fly. I think he is hurt. Hello. Look at the muscles on him. Whoa, look at the neck on him. Holy cow, you guys. Up close and personal. Oh, there's a car. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh, it's our car. We're hoping it goes off into the marsh and not into the middle of the road. Go that way. Go. That way. That way. Into the water. Get into the water. Go. Oh, man. I think he's young. He's young. Go over into the water. Yeah, Gabby, push him into the water there. He's a baby. He oh. lost his mom. It's okay. We're just keeping you safe. Get in there. Get, get. Okay. Let's let this car go by. Yeah, that's pretty. I think it's okay. He's really young. I just don't want him to get hit. I think he misses his mama. Right, you guys. Say hi. Ooh. We don't want you to get hurt. Go find your mom. He's a baby, you guys. That's the problem. We're always finding baby birds. Isn't he beautiful? Mm -hmm. We're like five minutes down the road from the trailer. So basically, we saved him from getting crushed. Don't come near me. Oh, he's a baby. I've seen, I've seen the ones where the geese attack you, and they're scared of him. <laughs> I've seen the ones where the geese go. Ah! <laughs> he's a baby, though. I know. Everybody's stopping to look at him. We had to leave him because he's calling out, and just like with regular birds, 90% of the time you have to leave them because their mom is out there looking for them. He's running away! It just makes me nervous. Can you guys see him way back there? Ugh. This makes me sad to leave him by himself. But he was probably liking us. On our way back, if we see him again and he's still alone, we'll see what we can do for him. So basically, uh, Sophie's nervous on the road um, and trail riding. It's just because it's new for her. Um, Stella is awesome and so does Storm, but she's nervous. And so before we go, I wanted to work out that stuff. We're gonna go on trail rides. So today we're just gonna go at our barn, around our barn. Tomorrow we're going to practice uh, trailering Stella, which is gonna be a huge thing because she apparently is a nightmare to, to get on the trailer. But anyway, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just gonna head out and go for a trail ride and try and get Sophie uh, calm, cool, and collected. You guys saw in a previous video how um, Sabrina bent down to eat the grass and Sophie fell off and so that's kind of stuck with her.
<laughs> All right, Gabby's headed bitless. She's gonna ride bitless, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like the idea of an afternoon ride, like an I early saw, evening I saw, ride. I saw a video where the horse took off on the person who was riding. Why would you tell her that right before a ride? Without a bit and without a saddle. <laughs> I'm riding with the saddle. So I can stay on. I don't know about Stella. Charm's all right. Yeah, he's good. Um, what are these things here? Since he started her on that medicine, she's not the same. So Gabby's got this new app on her phone called uh, Equilab. Equ yeah, Equilab, and she loves it because first she can ever, track her ride, right? Yeah, first time ever using this. Yeah, it's the first time she's ever used it. She keeps on. She's had it for I a set while. Set up Storm's account. Yeah, she set up Storm's account. And she's gonna finally get to use her little pocket on her pants. And it tracks your ride. And there's a new thing with Equilab. And it's Equilab Social. And it allows you to Chat connect. With yeah, connect with friends. Share your rides with friends. Share all your stats with friends. Can you fly spray? Before? Yeah. Right, one horse on the way. Two horses on the way. And the horse there just sped up right now. Yeah. Oh, she's. All right, let's do this. I got my uh, Skechers on, and I'm hoping that they help my foot. I only have that one little sore spot. If I can get rid of that, I'll be happy. All right, Sophia, you show us how you're not afraid. Yeah, good girl. I don't know. She's way better with stopping. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's head out. Right, we got things going. Got my trusty pitchfork with me because there's nothing worse than going on a trail ride and having to stop and clean up poop with your feet. Every time I go to the barn, I'm always like, oh, hurry up, get ready. We're not fooling around. Keep going because they're so slow and it takes us forever to get away from the barn. But then once we're here and we're all saddled up and ready to go it's always so relaxing and it's just i'm excited about our trip this is the first time i've actually been really excited about our trip so we're at the part in our journey where Sophia fell on Sabrina last time. And she just said, I'm starting to get a little nervous. But I think Stella's in heat. I probably look crazy carrying around a pitchfork behind the horses. <laughs> Sophie just waves. Right, so far, so smooth, you guys. Tomorrow and Wednesday we have lessons. On um, Wednesday morning we are going to pack up and take our horses swimming. So tomorrow we have our lessons. I wanted to go on a nature trail ride before we went swimming, but just the way it's working out, we're gonna go swimming on Wednesday morning. Sophie's like, okay, this is fine. Clearly she's done lots of uh, trail rides before. Are you feeling good, Sophie? Yeah. Pretty good going, you guys. Lots of noises, lots of sounds. See, she's she's so good. Look at what my Equilab says. We have been riding for 23 minutes and 55 seconds. And then the ground was pretty hard, so. Yeah. Okay, so Gabby was telling you guys that she's been using this new Equilab app and it is super cool. So it says here that we went walking for 23 minutes and it was on hard ground, but the kilometers weren't logged and I don't know why. So we didn't put in our location. So, um, but it does say, it shows how 
much energy we consume. The rider, she, Gabby, you burned 13 calories on that ride. That's it, 13 calories? Yeah. It's not even worth a popsicle. Anyway, it's super cool. Lab is an app that automatically tracks your horse's movement. You can create a schedule and then make a diary of your horseback riding, which is super cool. And I think Gabby really wants to train with Equilab in the next winter because it, she wants to kind of take her riding to the next level. I think that's really cool. Um, anyway, Equilab has Equilab Social, and I wanna know if we can all connect on there. That would be so super cool. Let me know in the comments below how we can connect. Step one of going camping with our horses is trail riding with Sophia to get her comfortable. Check. Step two is getting some food for our horses because we are we have to bring food for our horses, not grain, but hey. So we are out far Ooh, in the country. Wow. Your destination Looking is on the right. For wow. hey, wow, look at this farm we're going to. Holy cow, it's like a mansion. Okay, I'm not gonna show you their house because that's just weird. But yeah, we're at like this big huge mansion which sells hay apparently. So hopefully <laughs> Hopefully Sam's not driving us down somebody's private driveway. Right, you guys. Operation Hay. Mmm, it smells good. Yeah, it smells like normal hay. Nick here too. Some of you guys have been wondering <laughs> who my son is. This is Nick with the messy hair. Were you sleeping? No. He's so tall. I'm 5'9 and he's so tall. Anyway, we're just home. Um, we're just home to bring our hay because we're taking our horses camping. Do you want to go camping with us? You rode our horse horses cool. before, huh? You're lucky this is all you have to do, Gabby. One time we had to unload wood, and Mark ran away. <laughs> when Nick was little and the boys were little, one time because we had a wood stove, we had a huge pile of wood. We had a wood stove and we made all the boys come out and help us because that's what you did. And my... Oh my gosh. <laughs> my oldest boy was 13 and he was so upset. So upset that he had to help stack wood. That just seems so silly. I gotta remind him about that. Operation Camping with Horses, um, step one complete. Step one and two. Step one and two complete. We will see you guys in the morning. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for step three. See you guys later. Hey, what's step three? Three is teaching Lo uh, Stella how to load. Oh, and storm. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.